Top five things to do if you are in a crash. Number one, call 911 and provide first aid. If no one requires an ambulance, you still need to get a police report, which means calling for a police officer. Sometimes people think you don't need a police report because liability is clear. Someone admitted fault. Well, that person who admitted fault sometimes will change their mind later after they talk to their insurance company and their attorney. And all of a sudden, a case in which you think was guaranteed fault on the other side now is a he said, she said situation. Number two, take photos of all the vehicles, the scene of the crash, and the license plates, and the driver's license if they show it to you of the other drivers. Not everybody's going to tell you their actual name. Do not assume the officer is going to do the best investigation, take photos of the scene, and the other vehicles. Number three, get witnesses' names, phone numbers, and email addresses. Do not assume that the officer is going to get this information. A lot of times, officers will investigate a crash, think that it's clear, and then not get that information. Witnesses disappear. You need to make sure that you have the ability to prove the facts of the case. Number four, get medically examined at the first sign of an injury. A lot of times, People are shaken up after a crash. They don't realize that they're actually hurt. With soft tissue injuries, whiplash, strains, sprains, and other injuries, a lot of times a person doesn't realize they're hurt until a few days or a few weeks later. Or the severity of the injury hasn't presented itself yet because you have adrenaline at the scene of the crash. And just the way the body works, swelling and, and muscle spasms and other issues present themselves later. However, if you don't get medically checked out, the insurance company is highly likely to argue that you waited too long. You had a gap in treatment and that what you're experiencing in, in your body is not a result of the crash, but instead is a result of a workout injury or a slip in the bathtub or something else. So again, get checked out. Hopefully you can go to your primary care provider uh, but if you do not have a family doctor, you can go to an urgent care, immediate care, or med check. Another reason why you want to do this is that under Indiana law, you have a duty to do what's called mitigate your damages. That means you have to get treatment if you're hurt. You can't just sit on an injury and then claim compensation later. You have a duty to go to the doctor and follow the doctor's orders. Number five, speak to an experienced attorney. Insurance companies have attorneys. They have experts working for them. You deserve to have representation as well. If you try to handle it yourself and you make a statement to the insurance company, that can be used against you later.